Um, we just wanted to give you another update tonight as to where we are in, in the process in this uh, in this search that we've been conducting all day. Um, honestly, not an awful lot has changed since the last time that we talked to you, uh, but we are continuing our efforts in the area. Uh, we have got a lot of help from a lot of places. Uh, obviously, Clay County and, and JSO have been involved since the start. We've gotten help from uh, a lot of agencies, including the Marshal Service. Uh, we've now got people here from Alachua County. We've got people from Baker County. Um, everybody's been really helping out because it's a very labor-intensive process that we're involved in. And uh, quite honestly, we just have to have some help with some of it. So we're going to continue through the night, like we told you earlier, um, and then in through tomorrow until we can say that we've searched the area that we've identified. And, that, and at this point, we haven't gotten there yet. So we're going to continue. Uh, we'll be here all night. Um, and uh, we just want to kind of remind everybody that if they see something suspicious, uh, they see somebody moving around, uh, they shouldn't try to deal with that themselves. They should call 911, let us do that. Uh, this is a dangerous individual that we're looking for. Um, so. You know, it's just important that, that we hear from them. Anything that they hear or, or see out there that could help us, uh, we'll follow it up, and, and, and we can certainly be there to help with that. Uh, with that, I'll ask Major Alton if he's got anything to add. The other thing I would like to reiterate is we have received uh, help from a number of law enforcement agencies as far away as Alachua County, uh, Marion County, the U.S. Marshals Service. Uh, a number of agencies have stepped up and have come to our assistance, so we, uh, we certainly appreciate that. Uh, the one thing that I would like to reiterate is we do have a number of kids that uh, – Obviously, our school-age children that are in that perimeter um, are been working diligently with the school board. They've gotten the message out that if the parent is at all possible um, tomorrow morning, uh, take your child to school if you, if you have that means. If you don't, contact us. We will facilitate that. But, uh, again, we just don't want those children who are within that perimeter uh, standing at bus stops, buses traversing through that area. So that would be a huge help to us if, if we could get that message out to our uh, school-age children and parents. Is this considered a 24-hour-7 operation now, a search? Are you guys going to be searching all night and all morning long? Yeah, pretty much that's what we've been saying. We'll, we won't stop until we have either found this person or we've exhausted the entire search for the area that we're working on. So. How, many, uh, how many kids are in the perimeter? And if parents call and say, I can't take them, how will you get them to school? Will you pick them up in police cars, or is there, will there be buses? We, we, we uh, Clay so will facilitate that. Uh, there's a number of uh, vehicles at our disposal. We will certainly do that. You know, obviously our first um, uh, request would be for the parent uh, to take the child to school. But if by some means they can't do that, we will aid them in, in that, uh, provide them with that service. But you're not putting them in the back of police cars, I assume. Uh, we, we have other vehicles at our disposal, which we can uh, accommodate. Okay. And do you know how many children are in this, this zone? In our particular area, in Clay County, we have approximately 81 children uh, that, would, that would fall into that, uh, that particular parameter, uh, many of which are probably already uh, driven to school by their parents. This is a rural part of the county. Uh, so you know, my own uh, gut instinct tells me that bus service out here is pretty much limited. Uh, but it, if there is, in fact, that uh, that parent who needs that assistance, we'll be there to fill that need. And in Duval, how many uh, how many kids are in the zone in, in, in the Duval area? I think we're in kind of the same area, about 60 or so. I think we're a few less than they are. Can you talk to us a little bit about the officers? I'm not a police officer. I can only imagine that you are dealing with a very large area. It's wooded. It's dark. You know that he's armed. I feel like it would be very frightening for police officers to go in and be searching for this guy. I mean, are you using, obviously, a lot of caution? Well, certainly we are. I mean, that they're doing what they're trained to do. This is what they sign up for. Uh, it is dangerous. It's it's not so bad now. It's hot. It's it's hard work. They're searching a very heavily wooded area that they're having trouble getting through. Um, we have uh, a number of resources available that we're using with, with canines and horses. and uh, but. Uh, they know what we're looking for, and they've been trained for this, and that's that's what they're out here to do. Earlier you said you're going to spend the evening knocking on doors, talking to neighbors, having you finished that process? I believe we have, at least in Duval County, and, and I, so I think we probably all have. Yes. It's like. Have you been getting any sort of tips or people calling, hey, I heard this noise, I saw this shadow, what have you, and how are those going? They don't all come right to us, but the, but the ones that I know of are, are Actually, very few. There's just been a couple, but it is a very rural, wooded area that we're in, and, and there aren't a lot of people out there. Any other questions? What number should people call if they need their kids picked up? In the they just call their local sheriff's office, uh, whether they're in Duval County or, or Clay County, and, and we'll we'll make sure we get that taken care of. I so said, you want to put that out? Is it six three zero five hundred? Five hundred for me. And two eight four seven five seven five. 
All right. But having said that, if anybody sees anything that's suspicious or whatever, we want to go ahead and call 911 and let us deal with that. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, if they get, if they've been out and they get home and they, it appears somebody's been there, leave and call 911. Don't take care of that yourself. Let us do. Let us do it. Okay, can you expect an update tomorrow or sometime? At some point. Uh, we're probably not going to do a, a planned one at this point unless something changes because we just don't have a lot of new information to give you. It's just a, a methodical process of traipsing around in those woods and, and doing what we're doing out there. So um, at, when we get to the point whether we caught him or we're getting close to the end, we'll get back with you. Okay? Okay. Thank Thanks. you.